Bermuda Triangle mysterious, scientific, or both? Could we learn from the Bermuda Triangle's mysterious past? The Bermuda Triangle, a term coined by Vincent Gaddis in 1964, has been an area of interest for centuries. The Bermuda Triangle spans from the coast of Miami, Florida, Bermuda, and San Juan, Puerto Rico, covering roughly 500,000 square miles. When Gaddis wrote a cover story on the disappearance of Flight 19 in 1945, it grabbed the attention and curiosity of many. And so the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle began. The story that started it all. December 5, 1945, Flight 19 disappeared off the coast of Florida. Flight 19 was a scheduled routine navigational training mission where five Avenger torpedo bombers carrying 14 men were assigned to fly a triangular route. Approximately two hours after Flight 19 had left the Naval Air Station in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, a radio message had been intercepted between the lead pilot of Flight 19 and another pilot in the same flight reporting that the aircraft's compasses were malfunctioning. The lead pilot, uncertain of which way the Florida coast was, began to work out a plan to ditch at sea. That was the last reported radio contact from Flight 19. It was estimated that all five Avengers ran out of fuel at 8 p.m. The Avengers' durability and protection in times of war made it a respectable aircraft by those who flew it. But in this case, it would be the durability of the plane that would seal the fate of recovering it, sinking to the depths of the ocean within seconds. It is important to note that at 7.30 p.m. that same day, a PBM patrol plane was launched in search of the missing Avengers, and it too, along with the crew, disappeared. A merchant ship reported seeing an explosion and passing through an oil slick at the approximate time the PBM's last location was known. It is believed that the aircraft exploded at sea and sank. The disappearance of Flight 19 and the PBM patrol plane in 1945 is one of many. There have been several losses documented in the region known as the Bermuda Triangle. In March 1918, the U.S. Navy lost the USS Cyclops and all 306 crew members. In February 1965, civilian tanker SS Marine Sulphur Queen carrying molten sulphur sank. Neither the Cyclops nor the SS Marine Sulphur Queen was ever recovered. Seventy percent of the earth is covered by water and these waters have served as passageways to connect the world. But also, these passageways serve as a graveyard for ships lost at sea. Scientist Carl Kruzanicki refers to a survey that was done by Lloyds of London that disputes the belief that more ships have been lost in the Bermuda Triangle than anywhere else. So why is the area of the Bermuda Triangle of such interest? The location of the Bermuda Triangle is at the heart of an area where the weather can change in an instant. It is the birthplace of many storms that develop suddenly and quickly become fierce. If a ship such as the USS Cyclops or a plane unknowingly flew into a developing storm, it could explain why this area is plagued with numerous disappearances. Today's recent technological advancements allows us the ability to forecast and predict weather conditions. With that said, there is always a continuous search to improve the forecasting system because it is not always 100% accurate. Storms have been known to develop and disappear quickly without registering on satellites. Another factor that could contribute to the strange disappearances of ships could be the ocean floor. The Atlantic Ocean is home to deep underwater trenches where the continental shelf suddenly drops off. Some of the deepest trenches are located within the Bermuda Triangle. Any shifting or seismic activity that occurs on the ocean floor can cause a disturbance in the waters, causing abnormally high waves, or tsunamis. The combination of weather, seismic activity, and these deep trenches could explain why there has never been any records recovered. The seismic activity in the area of the Bermuda Triangle does provide another possibility. Scientists discovered that there are pockets of gases trapped in the ocean floor and any seismic activity can cause these gases to be released. One of these gases, methane hydrate, can have a very dangerous effect on objects in the area when it is released. Methane hydrate consists of bacteria from decomposing organisms found in the sediment along the ocean floor and ice crystals. Due to the lack of light and inability for water to warm at these depths, it makes it 
perfect environment for bacteria to grow, cool and dark. The bacteria gathers and forms and becomes trapped by a sheet of ice. An example would be if you have a bowl of fresh salad. You place the bowl of fresh salad in the refrigerator with a cover over the bowl and leave it for a couple of days. The salad begins to wilt, becoming slimy and turning brown. What has happened is that the cover has trapped the gases inside the bowl, stopping it from getting fresh air and light, allowing bacteria to grow, ultimately ruining the freshness of the salad. When you remove the cover from the container, you are overcome by this powerful smell that comes rushing out. It is not the same effect that methane hydrate would have if released, but helps to demonstrate a similar effect. When seismic activity occurs along the ocean floor, it causes the ice to break and release the gases that have built up. When the methane hydrate has been released, it causes the density of the water to lose buoyancy. If a boat is floating in an area where a methane hydrate bubble has been released, it will cause it to sink. In closing, Leonard Nimoy hosted a documentary on the Bermuda Triangle and stated that to say that science need not investigate is to destroy the rationale for any scientific quest. If you factor in methane hydrates, unpredictable weather, seismic activity, the ocean terrain, and the probability of any one of these events happening at any given time, you could very well have an explanation to many of the strange disappearances that have occurred in the Bermuda Triangle. On the other hand, many believe that the mysterious disappearances could just be plain old human error, and there are others who have speculated that there is a supernatural or alien presence in the Bermuda Triangle. What do you believe? This is Shannon Rush for Challenger Center for Space Science Education, signing off.